Greetings and thank you for tuning us in. I'm excited about this time of the year because let me tell you something. This time of the year brings about so much peace, so much love, so much caring, so much sharing. So I just believe that you're one of the ones that have been touched by the master to bring peace and bring joy and bring glad tidings to your neighbors, to your friends, to your loved ones, to your family, to your fellowship. I believe that you're able to do it. So I want to bring this message to you so that you can make room for the king in your heart for you. You can do it better. You can do it stronger. You can do it even greater. Why? Because he said from the day that he was born, into the world as a child was given, a child was born and a son was given and he was given to you. So I'm asking you today, make room for the king in your heart so that that love that he has and the love that you're seeing throughout this nation can be spread abroad in your community, in your family, at the gatherings that's coming together. So I really want you, hey man, I really want you. That's right, I'm speaking directly to you. Listen, I'm so excited about this time that we are gathering together family and friends and loved ones, and even those that you hadn't spoken to throughout the year, I'm encouraging you to reach out, send a gift to them, just send a text to them, send an email or whatever you have to do to let them know that you're thinking about them. Let them know that during this time of the year when love abounds, love abounds, and the scripture tells us that when love abounds, amen, things begin to happen that hadn't happened all year long. So wrap up love and let the king of love be in your heart, just like he's in mine, just like he's in your mother, your father, all of those that have gone on. And I'm so grateful this day that I have this opportunity to come again into your home, to come and allow you to feel that love. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? Oh my goodness, it put a smile on my face. It causes little, somebody said goosebumps and the hair on the back of my neck because I don't have none on my head. But I really want you to move in this love. Listen, let me get down to the brass tacks here. Listen, make room for the king in your heart, because if you do not have the king in your heart, you will not have that real love, that functioning love, that love that looks beyond faults, that look beyond the race, look beyond barriers, that love that, hey, that free gift of love. And see, somebody said, well, I don't have no money to buy nobody no present. I don't have no money to, to celebrate, to travel to a family and friends and loved one. Let me tell you something. I remember when we were children and we didn't have money to do a lot of things, but we were just so grateful to get that little brown paper bag with walnuts in it, with a piece of peppermint in it. Oh my goodness, with an orange and an apple. Oh my goodness, I can think about it now. And we savor that moment because mom and dad loved us enough and they didn't have enough money to do all the things because so many of us, but what they did, that little brown paper bag, it was wrapped in love. It was given in love. So I'm saying to you today, let the king into your heart so that you can share that same kind of love, oh my God, that was shared and being shared throughout this nation. Matter of fact, throughout the world, because many people celebrate uh, because the son has been given, that son of love. I know you have sons of laws, you have daughter-in-laws and things like that, that nature, but I want you to call them daughters of love, son of love, amen, and begin to share that love. When you begin to say that, I'm telling you, the power of God begin to move into your life. Yes, I'm talking about the God of the universe that shared his love, that he so gave his only begotten son. He gave his only begotten son that those that believe in him should not perish but have everlasting life. So listen, 1980, I made room for the king in my heart. And I thought he'd come in there. I thought he would come in there as a dictator telling me what I can and can't do. But guess what? He began to open up a whole nother world to me, a world of love that I love those that I didn't know. I love those even more than I do know. So I'm saying to you, as he went about doing good and sharing that love and even giving himself, amen, as that greatest love gift that's ever been given to humanity, I want you to think about it. I want you to really open up your heart during this season of the year and begin to share that love that's deep down on the inside of you. It's been here too long. Let it come out. Please let it come out. Somebody need that love. Somebody need that big contagious smile that you put on your face. Somebody need that handshake, that hug. And you know what all those represent? 
that represent the king, the king in you that you made room. And now you let, you just need to let him come out of that room and let him touch hurting humanity and cause them to heal like never before. I do believe, I do believe that when love begin to manifest in our communities, no greater gift than what the love of God have been given to you and have been given to me that we will ever have unless you begin to share that love and begin to enjoy the love that's in your heart. Preacher, you've been talking about love and talking about the king. The king is love. The scripture lets us know that God is love. And he began to share that love like never before, especially in times like these, because there are people that you don't know, there are people that I don't know, that will speak to you during this time of the year, that will only speak to you during the rest of the year. You know what's happening? It's the love, it's the king that's beginning to expand himself in their lives and begin to share himself through their lives. So all I'm asking you to do is allow the king to come into your heart, allow him to be there, allow him to express himself. See, back in 1980, second Sunday in October, oh my God, that love came into my life and I began to see the world in a whole nother perspective and I began to have so much joy. I, my smile got bigger. Amen. My love reach got further. I'm telling you now, I am love. What you talking about? I am love because he have just captivated me and just, oh my God, I give him permission now. He, he's not a dictator, but I let him love through me. And those that say they are unlovable, those that say they're unreachable, those that say they're untouchable, that love penetrate walls and barriers, uh, racial barriers, amen, uh, uh, what we call social status barriers, amen. It breaks through those walls and it touches even the untouchable. It reached even the unreachable. And listen, what it does, it loved even what they say are the unlovable. Because I thought, just like you thought, some people are unlovable. But guess what? God so loved the world. That means you. That means me. That means those that are in jail, those that are in, in prison, those that are behind bars, those that are in, in drug addiction, those that are lost, those that are homeless, those that have done evil and wrong things. Guess what? God loves all of them. And he want that love to be shared through you and me. And now it is our responsibility to begin to, in this season, in this time of giving, this time of sharing. I know it's, we give out gifts. I know we give out presents. But the greatest gift, the greatest present is the gift of love. And I'm so glad that love is operating in you today and it will continue to operate. God bless you. And I want to say, I love you. God bless you and share that love, spread that love and allow that love to become contagious and let it be a pandemic in your life. And I do believe, I do believe that God got something for you. My name is Apostle Alvin Deal. I'm the senior pastor of the Faith Christian Church at 401 Cross Street in Greenwood, South Carolina, where love abounds, where the Spirit of the Lord is, where the anointing destroys yokes and undo heavy burdens. And it's all because love has been deposited in me. And that same love that's in me, amen, I want to share it with you. God bless you and looking forward to loving on you real soon. God bless.